Does that count? Were they both supposed to die? Back at Square Forever! Chapter 1, baby. Let's go. I like this song. Damn, this is copyright free, too. Damn. This is a way different vibe than the, uh, the prologue. So is this a day after? I missed the uh, timestamp if it didn't timestamp it yet. Bye. But is this the next day then? Ladies. Peace and love. Oh no, this is See a... Later, kids. Yeah, this is the end of the summer. <laughs> okay, so... You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Don't get over it, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. <laughs> space gods. You heard me? Yeah. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> I love Brenda's song. <laughs> She's awesome. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. And I don't care what her name is. She's Brenda. Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I, so, this part took place... Like, the prologue took place right before summer camp, and they were supposed to be two camp counselors. So I wonder if they're going to talk about, like, them never showing up or whatever. Also, do these guys ever go in the basement? That cop must have cleaned up pretty well. Hey, pal. <clears throat> hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Yep. Good to know. Don't talk to me. Up the stairs. God damn. Does everyone in this walk upstairs like they're 96 years old? Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't, it's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there, come wrong on. with this thing? It's just... Dylan, it's please. Sorry, bro. What a fucking oh, douchebag. <laughs> That lighting is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's here? Packet square summer. Okay, that's just a. Okay, cool. Piece of wood. There's some stuff that they add in this game that just feels kind of pointless. And I'm sure that's to get you to stop worrying about stuff and slip up and miss things that actually are important. Skill. <sighs> this guy reminds me so much of me. I don't know, like, I don't know what your guys' perception of me is, but my perception of me is this guy. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Same. I actually, I love scary games now. I'm... Bro, once I started playing them, especially Resident Evil, Resident Evil got me hooked on scary games and making videos on scary games. If you've seen way back in the day, I did an Outlast playthrough. I started an Outlast playthrough. I couldn't finish it. I was a big baby. All right, we're checking all the corners. We're just making sure we don't miss anything. I'd like to get as much of a completionist playthrough as possible. We'll see how that goes, though. Um, I'm usually not very good at it. I usually miss a lot of shit, but we'll see. Oh, I found a tarot. Temperance. Uh, temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Sure is. Good to know. I will not ever go in there. A single time. Fast forward like six hours halfway through the game and I'm fucking stuck in there. How, who the fuck did that? 
Who, who put all those tables and chairs on the staircase? I know it's just for the game, but still, hey. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, Fair right. Is that, is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Okay, oh, I just explained what my problem boring. was. <laughs> I guess. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Let's be playful. Oh, Let's not get, like, okay, too annoying. so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. They like each other. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Fuck! Ah, okay, oh, we'll be mischievous, sexy, we'll yeah. be... How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was also Honestly, like that would hurt my heart a little bit day of on camp. the inside. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished, please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <sighs> so uh, she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob... She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? I love this. Maybe I like it? Nah. It's just a fling. Oh, but I mean, Get seriously. over on, it! Right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit. Mm. That sounds about right. Surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. After divorce? That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says... Roadhead. <laughs> oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, oh. that seems legit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are we sure? They don't have a thing for each other yet, but they will. We'll I can look. feel it. I can sense be. it in the air. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line, or, I don't know. She knows about cars, line. too? And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Come on. Don't do either of them. I'm going to have to do one of them. I I'm going to have to. Because you got to break the vehicle. You got to break the only escape vehicle. Break fuel line, steal the... I feel like if we break the fuel line, we just have to fix it. If we steal the rotor arm, then we take it and we can lose it. Oh, God. They seem both bad. Um, fuel line, I guess. 
I, I don't really. Would we wait? Would we have to get another fuel oh, line? This looks important. Shit. I will hook you right back up tomorrow. Okay. Pinky promise. That's that looks like oil. Oh no. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? That's not Jacob. me. No, nah, I don't. No, I don't dude, associate please, with that guy anymore. Oh, Nick. Oh, I was not paying attention. I was oh, not even. I didn't oh. have my hand on my controller. There it is. Oh Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh, freak. Okay. I hate this guy. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. Ha <laughs> oh, Ben. You're a douche. Jesus Christ. At least I, at least I got some. Yeah, uh, okay. let's well, just not be an asshole. A relationship this summer? Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheek he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. I think I'm gonna kill. I don't think I'm getting everyone out alive. I think I'll probably get. I'll probably have two people die. I think that's my guess. Oh, so she's an artist. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Honestly, I should just miss it. <laughs> that was such a try hard high five. Like they were so focused. Yet. Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Let's just leave the bag. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. Don't break anything. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. By Why don't we just find Mr. Racket and, and have him open it back up? It's still <laughs> breaking and entering. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, I think. Sorry. Would it be? No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm, uh... Okay, well, well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. I can't blame Jake for being upset about losing that Emma chick. I mean, she's kind of a douche. Kinda hot though. Alright, so there's a radio in there. I'm sure we'll need that at some point. Or, wait, no, it's just a PA system. I wonder... Okay, I'm assuming that crow being there is important. We're gonna need... We're gonna need that PA system at some point. I wonder if it's an actual radio? You stop that! I'm curious what that means. Apparently crows are super friendly. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez, I'm in first person. Apparently you can, like make crows your allies you can make them really loyal and I'm like if you find a crow somewhere and you just keep feeding them over time they'll become your friend and they'll bring you like little presents and stuff it's kind of nuts that there's even a streamer version of this game uh, it's wild that game developers are actually recognizing streamers as uh like i don't know as people i guess uh, it's weird because years ago streaming and making videos and stuff no one really gave a fuck about it people just did it because it was Part of the game it was fun and developers didn't really I, I mean after a little bit they recognized clips and stuff getting posted but they didn't recognize actual content creators like now it's so dope it's really cool to see the progression oh i guess that's my ride okay, there's a pool there i don't think anyone knocked caitlin out of first place all summer good shit caitlin 35 holy shit she was way ahead of the pack oh my god okay this actually places it coney island it's i can't read that 
Tokyo, 6,000 miles away. Boston, it doesn't have a mileage. Burbank, 2,800 miles away. Death Valley, 2,600. Holy shit. Decatur, I don't know what that is. Toledo, holy. Damn, that's dope. Okay, so I'm sure someone can find this, where this place is on the real world map. I'm sure. Aw. Evidence. Okay, we found some evidence. Safety tip number five. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Wait, are we going to be prosecuted? What do you mean prosecuted? Or not. What? Are we going to be seen as criminals? That's weird. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. An empty vial. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Nice. Gross. Ew. Ew. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ew. Have you? That reminds me of uh, like sniffing salts for lifting, for weightlifting. Jacob and Emma for summer. That's bro. That's shitty. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it. I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. I don't know about that. You should try it sometime. I guess it, it kind of makes sense. You kind of have to do that for videos no. and stuff sometimes, but... It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? It's not, I wouldn't consider that faking it. You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, Not sure. Not really. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. I can't, bro. Email oh, hold up. is ass. Just DM me uh, on Twitter. But the lodge is Text that me. way. Whatever. Over here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? I Were you just so... I kind of want to just go back to the lodge. We Why should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick is. I don't give a fuck what Emma thinks. Goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. I should have fucking hit it. I should have just ran its ass over. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! I don't understand why she wanted to take the scenic route when she wanted to get back. I am going to throw you out of the cart. It yeah, probably could have gotten us some taros or something. I doubt it. I doubt it would have killed us. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Why didn't you break in? Bears can be a problem. 
Let's just say bears can be a problem. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really <laughs> don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. On God, I'm Thank saying. <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen hey, Ryan? If she asks Nick out, it'll hey, be successful. Probably off being I'm just brooding saying. and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Is it about me? Yeah, just what's be it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you. <laughs> if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there's a podcast that's called true. How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? <sighs> what's Bro. the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? How would you so not know the, the entire summer camp? Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Hagger That's kind of weird. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Supportive. I just don't want to be mean. Though, you like I want to keep time it positive you told the story like, you know? to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. That dude's kind of awkward. Bullshit. What's Maybe the that's me. Pack of tears. Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Could have what if our bags shakes, weren't locked he? up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about what, ghost stories? H of H's Q. The hag of Hackett's <laughs> poor, yeah. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why not? I wouldn't say no fair, but cool, that's cool, still yeah. weird. Why not? No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So we can listen to some more paranormal podcasts on the road. You know, maybe I relate more to Ryan. So, uh, I don't want to relate more to Ryan, but to God, I'm awkward. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just you know about the whole thing with, with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello.
Mm, what do we podcast will give us more information on the hag because we're gonna run into her let's eavesdrop what? he he's he seems like the type of kid that would eavesdrop they're almost out of here all right you're cutting it pretty close we don't want to just hold your damn horses all right everything's a-okay on this end bobby and i are geared up if he's in the area we'll get this is a waste of time you know what i know it no, should I have? He's gone quiet. He's probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Podcast! Put the earbuds in! Put the earbuds in! Earbuds! Sorry, I, I wasn't... Shut I wasn't up. listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Ryan. <laughs> Get it together, man. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... Whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. That was a bullshit answer. I feel like uh, he should stand up for himself, but I feel like he's not going to. You know what I mean? Like, realistically, he wouldn't stand up for himself. Is everything okay? Damn. You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. If you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can. Uh, I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are going to like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter of these terrified kids that they send home. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. I don't. I, oh man, I'm just gonna do what Ryan. Sorry. Ryan would say. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. It's usually the opposite of how Just that give goes. Me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Oh shit. Jacob really fucked us, didn't he? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. 
unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. He just shut the door on him. Jesus Christ. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. I think Ryan hey, might have a crush on the, uh, the daughter. Before the rest of us. I never turned it in. You should never have turned turn it, it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> you noob. This guy definitely played Halo 2 back in the day. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Uh, Emma, I'm gonna have to a giant to mouth. Hell no, no, I am not leaving without. It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. I fucking... Fuck? All right, you're yeah, not, I, I kind of hate Jacob now. You. you know, I want that. Come I'm on, trying to think on. of chill. who I want to die. Chill, dude. Oh, if I had to kill anyone in this group, who would it be? Holy... Everybody back. Now, now, now. I should have taken the rotor arm. Jacob, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Okay, a, a single bottle of water. Ow, okay, geez, dude, I was trying to help. <laughs> what would have happened okay. if we took the other thing? Okay, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No, no, just stop. Let me think. Oh, starting to think the hag of the Haggard's quarry is real. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what? Oh, catch him. Good catch, Ryan. I knew you had it in you. Hey, Ryan. Come here for a sec. Oh, boy. We're gonna have to confide in him. Oh, wait. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? No. You're telling the guy that no one will listen to. Just say yes. Sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. I feel like you should definitely tell him. That's what I would do. Although that would probably freak him out. Would freak me out. So. What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What else is there to do? There's nothing else to do. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. 
Who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Yes, he is. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, Can't you okay. just, like, party One inside? last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, I, I feel like you could literally fuck just yes. lock all I'm the doors in, and Nick. party You're in. inside. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. Even My if man. it's loud, like Caitlin? the hag of Haggett's Glen. Hag I keep saying Glen. Yeah, okay. Hackett's Glen. Um, Hackett's Quarry. The hag of Hackett's Quarry will just, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, want to party. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he Why just would be he trying to freak you out? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. I fucked up. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Nah, y'all can dude, die. Y'all can die know, without me. I don't care. No, 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 no. Dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, group is getting bored. You don't want to disappoint Obviously. Danny. Obviously, someone's got to give a shit. Yeah, Let's go, Ryan. Give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's all right, do this. we got one guy uh, okay. kind of on our side. We got one first. guy kind of on our side. We got to get the rest on our side. Uh, Other than that, because we're store obviously store not just going to stay inside. That would make for a pretty shitty and, game. Uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Sniper scope? What do you need a scope for? What the fuck are you? What is that? <laughs> Wait, I have so many questions. Also, that guy is badass. He's... He looks like Channing Tatum. Don't tell me I'm wrong. You know he looks like Channing Tatum. Kind of. Like if Channing Tatum was a murdering guy from the middle of nowhere. <laughs> a murderer from the middle of nowhere. Wow. Hey, lady. I was hoping you'd come back to me. I'm back. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. More. I was hoping you'd say that. More forewarned is forearmed? Okay, were those shotgun shells? Be going. It's still early and the moon is I could barely Time make out what was going wait. on there. Hopefully I remember Not it and for see those it later. With a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And 
Look out for my cards. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> 